seeing none. Moving on, questions and proposals from trustees. Anything, questions? Trustee Akins, please. Thank you, and through the chair, I will respectfully ask that you let me finish what I have to say. It might take a moment. Oh, sorry. Sure. Is that better? Good? Okay. I made a very public statement through uh, Facebook regarding the appointment of our newest trustee. It has been brought to my attention through the chairperson and the director of education that I have broken the code of conduct. It has also been brought to my attention that some of you are offended and some of you would like my, quote, head on a platter, end quote. I've been asked to apologize in a public forum so that you may all forgive me and not take my head. I want to apologize and I want each and every one to know, one to know here that I am sorry for using adjectives to convey my opinion that some of you, obviously those who voted for Trustee Lay and Trustee North, were offended by. My core message was one that was to demonstrate my belief that if two candidates lost an election by constituents, why would we appoint them? I stand by my comments but apologize for using, quote, lack of competency and critical thinking skills, end quote. My post should have read as suggested by Chair Beacock, quote, if you had written, the board made a decision tonight that I don't agree with, end quote, and continue on. In hindsight, I'm sorry I didn't write it that way. I have stood and represented the constituents of Barrie in Wards 1, 2, and 3, as well as the students of all Simcoe County. I am honored to have been elected to be a trustee and to be a part of this board with all of you. However offensive you have found my opinion, my opinion only on this particular subject matter is irrelevant. I will always voice my opinion in those opinions of the constituents of Barrie. In saying this, I do not negate what I have apologized for. I am sorry. Thank you all for letting me speak my piece on this matter. Thank you very much for that, Trustee Akins. Are there any other uh, questions or proposals from trustees? Seeing none, I have a couple of, did you have Trustee North? I'm wondering if uh, the table might entertain a uh, five minute recess. I, uh, I need a minute or two to uh, think about something. Could we entertain that? Can I just, is there a way to clarif clarify what the, I'm just wondering, can we clarify what we would be taking recess for, just because we're almost at the end. So I'm not sure what we're recessing about. And I don't know. Sure. Uh, regarding the issue that uh, the trustee Aikens um, just raised. I, I, I may want to respond to that, but uh, I need a, uh, okay. I need a minute. So the discussion that we've had, um, this doesn't prevent anything beyond this. So I'm not, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not understanding why we would need to take a recess. And if, if we need to, I guess we can, but I'd, I'm just not sure what what difference that will make, Trustee North. Okay, I'll um, yeah, I'll withdraw my request for a recess. Thank you. <clears throat> Any anybody else with? questions or proposals I just have a couple of quick things um, oh, sorry trustee Armstrong please uh, thank you through you in regards to um, our apology from trustee Akins I just want to clarify that there is a post um, in public on Facebook what is her intent about that post and uh, what will she will she be writing the exact will she be posting what she just read, or will there be further comments in her post? So I'll just to clarify about that. Trustee Akins, just to, to clarify, um, it's removal of the post, and I believe also posting the apology on your Facebook page, and beyond that, 
I think Trustee Armstrong is asking, will there be more than what was read on the post? Is that what you're asking, Trustee Armstrong? What her following intentions are as to the... Uh, uh, so, the Trustee Akins, can you clarify what the intent is, please? Sure. Thank you. And through you to Trustee Armstrong, um, I do intend to remove the post, and I will only be posting what I have said in public. My apology. Nothing added, nothing changed. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Vice, or, uh, Trustee Locke, please. Thank you, Chair B. Cock, and through you to Trustee Akins. I'm, I'm not sure that you understand the severity, and you just noted that you are going to always state your opinion do you understand how you broke the rules of the code of conduct and the ed act and will we see any more of these posts in the future and honestly i'd like to know if you are sincere with your apology trustee akins please thank you and through the chair to trustee Locke. i do apologize for what i've written i have stated that i will always voice my opinion However, moving forward, my opinion will always be respectfully made without any type of disrespect towards anybody. And I do understand the severity of the issue. I understand what I've written. I understand the ramifications that have come with what I've posted. And I am sorry for what I said. Okay, thank you. Anything further on that? Trustees have any other questions or proposals? So I'll go back to a couple of items. Um, June 12th, the retirement dinner for all staff was held. It was another uh, great event. We have a lot of great staff that have been here for many, many years who are, are moving on to retirement to golf, swim, and lay on the beach, hopefully, and enjoy, enjoy life. So. Um, that was a great event, and thank you to everybody who uh, who put that together. I know it takes a lot of work, so thank you for that. And then uh, the second one, which Trustee Armstrong might speak to more than me, but um, I had the pleasure of attending along with, with other board members um, the old grand opening of Lake Simcoe Public School along with Trustee Armstrong, and it's an incredible building. Um, it's, it's so nice to go into these buildings and, and see something a little bit different. And uh, I, I think I've mentioned before, I had a friend who was a custodian in Hamilton who was sick and tired of seeing the buildings that seemed to be, in his words, all the same. So I think this is another great building and, and uh, it's great for students. There's lots of light, lots of great space. And the students were amazing. They sat through the better part of two hours, I guess, uh, or an hour and a half at least, um, quiet as a mouse. It was it was quite unbelievable to see those those little SKs, JKs, and so on, uh, be able to sit there so quietly while everything went on. So it, that was a, that was another great event as well. And finally, I just want to uh, say thank you to everybody for this uh, school year, all the work that uh, that you have done, uh, superintendent, staff, trustees. Uh, really appreciate the uh, the work and the support, and I hope everyone has a has a great enjoyable summer. Um, I hope today's not an indication of what summer's like because today's the first day of summer, and it's not it's not exactly what I think we were all hoping for. So, I uh, I just want to say thank you and enjoy your summer, and and we'll see you uh, in August. Thank you very much. With that. Future business is the, uh, aside from graduations that everyone is attending, the next meeting is in August. And with that, I'm looking for a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Trustee Aikens, seconded by Trustee Armstrong. All those in favor? Thank you, and that carries. Have a great summer and drive safe.